Hey everyone, so this tutorial is going to show you how to set up a router, two switches, a few computers and use the actual router to run the DHCP instead of having a dedicated server. This is one option that you can do or you can do a dedicated server which will be in the next tutorial. So for this one we're going to get started building up our configuration. Okay, so again for this one we're just going to drag in a router. We want two switches this time, so we're just going to add in two. And I might just zoom this in so it's a bit easier for you to see. So we've got our two switches. I'm going to, I'm going to rename these real quick because of the tutorial we're going to be doing. I'm just going to change this one. I'm going to have to change this one first. I want this one to be switch two. And I want this one to be switch one. Now we're going to add in just dump a random amount of uh, PCs in. It's going to let me... Okay, so we've got a bunch in here now. Uh, we're going to do the connections. So again, I do the automatic connections for connecting up the computers because it really doesn't matter what connection ports are being used here. And the I mean, you can do this too to connect the switches to the router, but I prefer to check to make sure. So I want this one to be gigabyte 0-0, connect up to any, and then 0-1. Oops, I've used the wrong cable here. Don't mind me. Um, yeah. So we're going to use 0-1 and connect up here. Now we're just going to write in so that we know what we're doing. So switch 1 is going to have the IP address 192.168.10.1. So I'm going to have that there and then I'm going to put another one here. Switch 2 will have the IP address 192.168.20.1. Okay. So that is our two switches. So now we need to set up our router and our router will be doing the um, DHCP. So we've got a few steps to go through here. Okay, so we're going to open up the router and we're going to go to be the CLI um, configuration. You want to type no and return to get started. Okay, so for the first switch, we're going to be working on switch one first, which was using the gigabyte 0 0. If you've used a different one, please use that when you're configuring. So we're going to go enable conf t. Now we're in here, we want to do I, um, we're going to do int g 0 0. So we're going into the connection to switch one. We want to do IP address 192.168.10.1.255.255.255.0. Enter. We want to do no shutdown. So now it stays on. Now we want to do do write memory. So it's written that to memory. Now we're going to set up the DHCP pool. So you want to do IP DHCP pool switch one. Now you can use a different name here. You can use anything you want. I'm using switch one because we are working with switch one and it just makes it a bit more clear if you use meaningful names. So I'm going to press enter. Now we're going to do network 192.168.10.1. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Enter. Exit. So now we're back to the config terminal. We have set up our switch one with its router, and we're going to do the same again for switch two. So we're going to do int g zero dash one, because if you see in here, this one is using zero dash one. So also, if you do use the automatic connections, you can hover over these arrows, and it will tell you what you've used. So we're using int g dot is g zero dash one. So now we need to set the IP address. So for the IP address, it's twenty dot one. We want to do IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty dot one. Also, you can use any IP address you want here. I'm just using ten and twenty because it's a bit more obvious than one and two. Um, so you want to do two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Enter. No shutdown. Do write a memory. Now we're going to configure the DHCP for switch two. So we're going to do IP DHCP pool switch 
two. Now we want to do network. Also, you can actually use up arrows, which we're going to use here because it's a bit easier. So we've gotten up to network here and then you just want to go across and you can change it. You can also retype it in. It's actually a bit easier when you're setting up multiple of these. You can just use up and down to, you know, re go to those commands. So now we're going to press enter and now we're going to go exit, uh, exit, and we're just going to go write memory. Just saves everything and make sure everything's saved. Okay, so now we come out of here. We have our router configured with our switches. We're going to open up each of these PCs and see how they go. So you want to go to desktop, IP configuration, and now we're going to click over DHCP and see if it works. Requesting IP address. Look, we've got 10.2. So it selected the next one in the connection. Uh, we'll go over here to the next one. 10.3 and the next one 10.4 so now we're coming over to switch 2 so we should see 20 yep 20.2 desktop IP configuration again 20.3 and 20.4 so they are all showing connect connection success to DHCP so that's how you can set up a network using the router to automatically manage the DHCP.